Oh my goodness, you guys, I finally got a brand spanking new camera, the Nikon Z30. Oh my gosh. What's up? Welcome to my channel if you're new. If you're not new, what's up my geniuses? Today's a little bit different. I just got a brand new camera and I'm super excited about this because this just came out, what, like three months ago, barely? So this is a big deal to me. I bought this camera as pretty much the body and the lens together as a package. So I didn't buy them separately. The body plus the lens on the Nikon site goes for $849. This is the box that it came in that I pretty much tore apart. Like I said, it came with the camera body and the lens comes with the neck strap too does not come with the sd card so i bought that separately but long story short i got my sd card 64 gigabytes off amazon for like 15 bucks like i said i am not the most knowledgeable with tech so i'm just gonna go off explaining why is my dog growling piper what are you doing Anyway, I'm not going to talk too much about the Canon EOS M10 because this is about the Nikon Z30, but one of the reasons why I wanted a new camera was because I wanted higher megapixels, I wanted higher HD uh, video recording, and it annoyed me that my Canon EOS M10 had this clicking noise that I would hear in all my videos when I recorded, and there was no way for me to turn it off. So the recording video limit, as I mentioned, I got 64 gigabytes SD card, so before I had 16, only get you about 30 minutes you have to re-record once the 30 minutes is up now that i have the 64 gigabytes and it's with the nikon z30 i can get two hours and five minutes of recording time before i have to press record again the dimensions on this camera i'm reading this off my tablet five inches by 2.9 inches by 2.3 inches and pretty much weighs 14 ounces including the batteries so it has a little bit of weight to it it is a little heavier than my canon eos 10 but it has this hand grip i'm not sure what this is called all my tech savvy people please correct me in my comments it has this hand grip right here which makes at least to me it feel more reliable when i'm holding it as opposed to my eos 10 which has no hand grip and i'm just holding it like this so i like the hand grip on this i'm gonna take the lens off so you guys can see but the lens that I have um, that came with the kit is DX16 through 50, so a lot higher than my Canon EOS, which is only 15 through 45, so now I can zoom in more. It's pretty much just the um, zoom rate, I believe. And then this is it without the lens, obviously. So it's a mirrorless camera. Boom. I think you can even go up. Yeah, up. Okay, you can flip it here. Close it. Flip it back. Boom. I love that. My Canon EOS is only up. I like that this one's to the side. I think it's just more convenient. It's touch screen. Uh, I'm actually gonna turn this on now. So it is touch screen. You know, you can do all the touching stuff. You can use the buttons. I don't have an SD card in right now, so it's not doing anything, but um, it is touch screen if you prefer that way. And this is gonna zoom in. I don't wanna zoom in on my face. Ah! <laughs> uh, but yeah, all the stuff you need can be navigated to the touch screen or with the buttons. I'm not sure about all these buttons on here. There are some buttons that I do not know yet what they mean or what they do. Like this up here. I'm not sure what this is. Like I, it has something to do with, I guess, the quality of the picture. So I guess automatic selfie portrait. But the other stuff, I don't know. I know this is where I can put my microphone. So eventually I'm going to buy one of those little furry microphones. <laughs> So you put the top of here and hopefully the audio for my videos will be way better than just using the camera alone or won't have to use my snowball um, microphone as much but like I said before Canon EOS didn't have that but the Nikon Z30 does. There is the, I don't know what this is called, I forgot but you can put it on like your ring light or I have my selfie stick um, that came with my ring light so I can easily just be like hi guys welcome to my channel so i love that the flash is built in and i think i already said this but if not it is wi-fi compatible so you can easily import your pictures and videos or videos to your iphone or to any phone that has wi-fi connected to it there is the mic port there is the HDMI and USB port which is the USB port um, you can use for your computer or this is where you pretty much put in your battery cord to charge your battery so you don't have to take out the battery with my Canon I had to take the battery out and put it in like the little port 
that was separate and then plug it into the wall. This, I just keep the battery in here. I put the cord in here and put it in the wall and it charges. So that is less work on my end that I like. It is 21 megapixels with a max video resolution of 3840 by 2160. That's a lot. I really want you guys to see the difference between my Canon and my Nikon Z30, which to me is a huge difference, not only in zoom and quality, but just overall the frames per second. Like it just looks way more crisp. So this is my Canon and this is with my Nikon Z30 zoomed out at its lowest zoom which is 16. It's just way more crisp and let me show you guys how it looks even zoomed in. So this is the Nikon Z30 zoomed in at its maximum zoom. To me I see a huge difference once again with the more crisp uh, video frames per second and just overall the zoom quality is way better and I feel like you can see more details of especially my face which is really important if I'm going to be doing like makeup videos and uh, reviews on products you guys can really see the specs up close. So if you're a new YouTuber and you're willing to take this investment to take that leap of paying almost a grand for a camera definitely go for it. It's worth it. It's a great price. You get amazing quality. I'm hoping that I can keep this camera around for the next five to six years before having to buy a new one. That's all I have for this video. I just want to give you guys my quick generic unknowledgeable very amateur review. But I'll leave the link down below to check out the Nikon Z30 for both the Nikon site and Best Buy if you're interested in checking it out. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But that's it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.